Hi everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a targeted individual. Uh, it's about two something or other. Two forty-five a.m. and I'm working inside a storage locker. Somebody just showed up to open their locker. I can only imagine what they're doing at 2.45 a.m. Getting their, some clothing they left. Or dropping off their tools from the gig. Uh, I've turned off the generator. And put it away. I'm really sick. I have some kind of Zero conversion flu feeling. And I realized, or I noticed I had these two big, giant, painful pimples on my face. That what happened was I got re exposed to the Morgellons stuff they gave us. Either moving or touching the stuff that was put away or, you know, in the move or whatever. Uh, Every time it, they, those fibers, whatever it was they put on us, those things, those bugs, those get you, they go into your skin. They make a pimple. And then I get really sick. And something happens. And then it does it again. It's like reloading, uh, re updating, or re exposing. I don't know. So, hopefully, uh, hopefully, we'll find a camper that we can afford, and, and then we have to register it, and get plates, and insure it, and park it, unless we can get a lot to park it in or something, and just pay the lot. Oh, I'm sure the watchers will destroy that too. Like they do everything else. Uh, what are we gonna have to sleep in shifts again? And put armed guards on everything. It's not possible. You know, two two people against an army of who knows. <laughs> you know, with unlimited resources. If I had unlimited resources, I could be a getaway. I could hide. I could figure something out. And I have no resources, very little resources. Uh, I want to thank the people who donated money. And I would like to ask anybody else who is interested in donating money to, so we can get a camper. I don't know. I just hope it works. Maybe it's the wrong idea. Maybe it's the right idea. I have no idea anymore. Petra likes the idea. She figures if we're going to live like gypsies, we might as well live like gypsies. And, uh, I don't know. It just would be nice to be have a place. I'm like getting, you know, when I'm sick like this, it's like, you just, wow. Then you start thinking about what's going to happen when you're too sick to care for yourself anymore. And, uh, I really need a place to lay my head. I don't know. The patron does not want to go to, uh, the city shelter with me. Just like the last resort. I don't know. Some people said that for couples it's a little nicer, but she really she's so tired of having her life controlled by controllers and uh, me I, I hate being institutionalized it kills you steals your soul and your individuality and your creativity which of course is what this whole thing is about anyway uh, I don't know I feel so bad for Pedro my poor sweet darling, they're tormenting her horribly with the V2K. 
Blah, 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 blah. You know, she might as well be schizophrenic for all the babble. They, you know, she, I mean, she's getting good at, at, she's getting better. I convinced her they're not real people, that they're chatbots, uh, instances of AI. There may be a real person or so in there, but, you know, the thing that just talks to the talk to the talking talk back and keeps asking the same questions over and over and over. It's sort of just like a Pavlovian response. It's trying to get a, you know, a signal out of you. It's trying to get a neurological reaction that then triggers a memory or a, an emotion or something you can latch onto and then trigger the next thing and the next thing. And it controls, you know, it monitors it all. So it, it uh, basically is mapping your responses. That's basic word recognition psychology I say a word and you say the first thing that comes into your head um, so I've taken to wearing these light sticks around my neck because uh, when you turn off your generator and you don't have a hundred dollars worth of batteries all hooked into an inverter power goes off and uh, yeah I really want to build one of these geek carburetors uh, and see if I can make my engine run on half water. I think that's just so necessarily cool. <laughs> um, if you could run it on urine, wow. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta pee in the engine. I mean, there was a time when that would really mess it up, right? Oh, it turns the, uh, through the venturi force um, reaction, which is a a spinning vortex under pressure and heat reaction by mixing hot exhaust gases with the intake of, of the vaporized uh, hydrocarbon fuel. It turns into plasma, which the engine can burn. <sighs> yeah. Uh, really cool design. And this guy, Mr. Pantone, as far as I could tell, he's been tormented and locked up and, and I mean they really screw with people who have solutions now they screw with people who don't have solutions maybe they're just getting rid of a bunch of genetic lines so that you know that's the kind of thing they do right or I wish I knew exactly who they were <laughs> you know I'm thinking like well, everybody has their own thoughts on what it really is, but there's some scary thoughts, too. I got some really scary thoughts. I have some stories I haven't told anybody yet, really. Uh, they're pretty freaky. Maybe one day I'll tell them to you. Oh, I don't know. The hospital, the hospital... I don't like the hospital, but when you get sick and sick and sick, it's... Oh, for the simple life. Still, I like to be connected. I like to, to tell the story. I want to get feedback. I want other people to know that they're not suffering alone and that, you know, what's going on. Um, you should watch some of my older videos that talk about, you know, the technology, and if you haven't already, uh, some of them are, anyway. Ah, oh, it's such a shame to see, feel your, your, not only your health, but your mind going, you know, this rapid onset Alzheimer's from some kind of toxic syndrome or something. It's really messed up. Anyway, that's my story. I have many, many blessings that I'm so grateful to be here talking about this with my light stick, with a roof, and a jacket. May God bless you all. And may we work to end suffering in this world. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>